assalamu alaikum dear students today we will perform our next experiment that is grain size distribution analysis using mechanical sieve shaker for this experiment we require different number of sieves according to our sample and we require a weight balance machine and the main important thing is we require a mechanical shaker for shaking the different samples and first of all we use different number of sieves if you read this tag there is the sieve number 8 and then next sieve is sieve number 10 and sieve number 4 is right here is the size of the sieve and size of the sieve sieve and number of the sieve is right in this tag you can read over here and sieve number 4 and you can see the opening size of the sieve the sieve number 4 opening is larger and sieve number 16 opening is small as the number of sieve increase the size of the opening reduced mean four number sieve size is larger 16 number sieve size is smaller and then 14 number sieve the small size is more precise and then we next move to 18 number sieve the size is the more refined and last is 200 number sieves okay and when you select the most important thing when you select your sieves don't forget to select the three main sieves sieve number 40 sieve number 10 and sieve number 200 these three sieves are very important for the grain size distribution study sieve number 40 sieve number 10 and sieve number 200 and select other sieve in between these numbers and i have select different sieves and i am repeating all numbers available with me let's start the data recording the we require three main things empty weight of sieve size of the sieve and weight of the sieve with soil the first of all we will record the empty weight of sieve the sieve number 200 place it on the balance A first calibrate your balance machine before measuring the weight. Don't forget to calibrate your balance. Then measure the place the seat and measure the weight. It's one nine. It's three sixty one point eight gram. Three sixty one point eight gram. Record this weight in your a notebook. Seat number two hundred and weight is. 386 gram that is good luck okay we have a 386 361 okay okay measure the weight of the sieve sieve number 200 and weight is 361 gram and note this in your notebook and then measure the second weight of second sieve sieve number 100 And place the sieve number two hundred in the bottom above the pan. First of all, place the pan, and then sieve number two hundred, and then next sieve is hundred number sieve. Measure the weight again. It's three fifty one gram. Three fifty one grams. And place next sieve. Above sieve number two hundred, and similarly repeat the procedure for all other sieves. And how we have to arrange our sieves, I will explain you here. See, it's one next step for now. Just on the bottom of the placement, place sieve number two hundred, then sieve number hundred, and then sieve number eighty, sieve number eighty. And then sieve number fifty, and then sieve number forty, and next is sieve number thirty, and next is sieve number sixteen, sieve. 
नंबर टेन सी नंबर एट एंड सी नंबर फोर एंड दिस इज द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ अवर सीज द स्मॉलर नंबर सी नंबर फोर इज अपर एंड लार्जर नंबर सी नंबर टू हंड्रेड ऑन द बॉटम ऑफ द प्लेसमेंट एंड नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस सीव and placement of this set of the sieves on the sieve shakers and before placement of sample in the sieves measure the total weight of the sample and it's 1190 grams okay and record the total weight of the soil sample on your notebooks for error for error correction and next is place this place and next is place these seeds on seed shakers seed shaker and okay this sample complete sample on the top most seed and next place this lid on the top and tie your grip okay now start okay from the shaker After performing the shaking, we have sampled in different seeds. You can look here. In each seed, we have certain amount of sample. And you can see. This is our point particles. And after that. This is sieve number four, and we already we already recorded the weight of empty sieve, and then record the weight of sieve with sample, and it's five eighty grams, five eighty grams, and then record the weight of next. See, it's five twenty five forty two grams. See number eight, and similarly record the weight of next see. It's five fifty six grams. Okay. Similarly record the weight of each see with this file sample and note in your data sheet. Okay, these blue box indicate four columns, and these are data collection columns. In first column is the sieve numbers. We have already noted our sieve numbers, and in second column is the sieve size, a sieve opening, as 4.75 millimeter, as we already discussed in our last briefing, and. in fourth column this is the mass of empty sieve before placing the soil in the sieves and fourth column is the mass of empty sieves and number third column is mass of sieve plus soil retained and after the shaking the set of the sieves on the shakers we have retained some mass of different sieves and this is the mass of sieve plus soil and this is our data collection and if we move Uh, study the next column column number 5 this is the mass of soil retained on each sieve and this data we will calculate this data by subtracting column number 3 and 4 the 609.9 minus 515.54 it's become 94.36 grams and this is the mass of soil retained on sieve number 4 and similarly we will calculate the mass of soil retained on each sieve 
लाइक सीव नंबर एट रिटेन्ड फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स एट ग्राम्स एंड सीव नंबर सिक्सटीन रिटेन्ड फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो ग्राम्स एंड सो ऑन एंड आफ्टर डैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द परसेंट ऑफ मैस रिटेन ऑन ईच सीव परसेंट ऑफ मैस रिटेन ऑन ईच सीव 